Colossians 1.23, If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. This is the sobering reality because of the big word right here, if. All right. He has just said that Christ, through his death, has taken our sin and has brought reconciliation between us and God. And then we have the word if. So what does this mean? It says, if you continue in the faith. Now, the way that this is worded is, is that you will continue. You will continue in the faith. Why will you continue in the faith? Well, because we've been united with Christ. We are part of his body. It's, it's our identity with Christ that is going to give us the ability to continue in the faith. If you have real faith, you will continue in the faith. And that will lead to you being stable and steadfast. Those are both two different way of, ways of saying, man, we're going to have a firm, solid faith. You continue in your firm, solid faith, not shifting, not shifting from the hope of the gospel. All right. Now there is a warning here. If you are not stable, if you are not steadfast, if you're not continuing in the faith, then you have not had that reconciliation that he talked about. And again, remember this hope, this isn't a hope like I hope I win the lottery. This is a hope as a confident, a confident expectation. We have a confident expectation of our future union with Christ because of our current union with Christ that will help us to continue stable and steadfast in this wonderful gospel that has been given to us. And he's talking to the Colossians. This is the gospel that they heard. And what, not just heard. When it said, when he says heard, he means that you heard, you believed, and you're living in it. He says, which was has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven. Right? So during the, the lifetime of the apostles, we believe that God's word has gone out. And that's what we see in Acts, right? To Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And then it goes out. It goes to the whole world. We know that the gospel went into Europe. We know the gospel went into India, the, the known world. It is the gospel has been proclaimed in all, all creation under heaven. Now, again, the use of creation is, is ironic because he's saying that Jesus is firstborn of creation. He created all things, and now all creation has heard the news of that reconciliation. Now, as we know, we are still compelled to take the gospel because the human beings have spread out and they've forgotten the gospel. And now we need to remind them of this gospel. And then Paul here himself says that he has become a minister. This is a really interesting word because he calls himself a minister, which is the word that we get deacon from him. He is a servant and he is serving Jesus Christ on our behalf as a proclaimer of this gospel, which we also need to continue in. We need to continue in the gospel and we need to continue to proclaim that gospel ourselves being servants or deacons of this gospel.